In this video, we'll be looking at unreal conditions in the past, present, and future. Let's begin. Unreal conditions express ideas that are not true, are contrary to fact, or are imaginary situations. These conditions are not considered an actual possibility. We use the simple past tense in the if clause for unreal conditions in the present and future, and we use would plus the base verb in the result clause for the present and future. Let's take a look at an example. If Alexis had a lot of money, she would go shopping every day. So here we have the if clause with the simple past verb had, and in the result clause, we have would and the base form of the verb go. This sentence is talking about the present time. Um, however, it uses the simple past tense. Um, but this is because this is an unreal condition. So in actuality, Alexis does not have a lot of money, so she does not go shopping every day. So pay close attention to the use of these verb tenses. The past does not mean that this condition is talking about the past. We use would in the result clause for desired or predictable results. So most of the time we use would. We can also use could in the result clause to express a possible result. And another important point to be aware of is we use were instead of was for all subjects in the if clause. Here are some examples. If I won the lottery, I would donate half of the money to the poor. So let's think about um, what is actually the case here. Will I win the lottery? Will I donate half of the money to the poor? So in actuality, I will not win the lottery. This is an imaginary situation, so this is an unreal condition. So the simple past is used in the if clause. However, this is talking about the future. It's a condition in the future, and we have would and the base form of the verb um, in the result clause. This is for a desired or predictable result. If I won the lottery, I could donate some of the money. So in this case, we use could to express a possible result. So if I won the lottery, it would be possible for me to donate some of the money. That would be a possibility. It doesn't mean that that would be my actual decision. If I were you, I would study really hard for the next test. So in this, example, we can see the use of were instead of was, even for the subject I, um, and we have would in the result clause. So actually, I am not you. So this is an unreal condition. Um, but you may have heard this sentence pattern before. This is a common way to express advice by saying, if I were you. Let's look at unreal conditions in the past. So unreal conditions in the past express ideas and situations that are contrary to fact or are the opposite of what actually happened. We use the past perfect in the if clause and we use would have plus the past participle in the result clause. Let's look at some examples. If she had come to dinner, she would have met my brother. So in this example, we have had come, the past perfect in the if clause, and in the result clause, we have would have met. So would have and the past participle of the main verb. So this example is in the past. Make sure to not use the simple past here. Uh, remember, the simple past is used for an unreal condition in the present or future. So we have to be careful to use the past perfect to show that this is um, a situation in the past or a condition in the past. So in actuality, 
she did not come to dinner and she did not meet my brother. So this is unreal. It's contrary to fact. It's the opposite of what actually happened. If Trump hadn't become president, Pence wouldn't have become vice president. So again, we have um, the past perfect in the if clause, and we have would have, and the past participle of the main verb in the result clause. So what is the actual truth about the past? Did Trump become president? Did Pence become vice president? So in actuality, Trump became president and Pence became vice president. So this is the opposite of what actually happened. We use was in the result clause for desired or predictable results in the past, and could may be used in the result clause to express a possible result or option in the past. Let's look at some examples. If Satoshi had received his visa, he would have studied in the US. So again, we have the past perfect um, in the if clause, and we have would have in the past participle in the result clause. So would have shows the a desired or predictable result. So in actuality, Satoshi did not receive his visa and he did not study in the US. So this is an unreal condition in the past. If Satoshi had received his visa, he could have studied in the US. So in this example, we have the use of could have and the past participle of the main verb in the result clause to show that that is a possible result or option in the past. So if he had received his visa, it would be possible for him to study in the US. He may have decided to do it or not to do it, but it would have been a possibility.